Zack beamed with pride as he awaited the union of his son and the woman who would soon become his daughter-in-law. The day was ideal for a wedding, yet when his son introduced Jenna as the love of his life, Zack's joy turned to shock. As he laid eyes on her, a sinking feeling gripped his stomach. He recognized her instantly. How could this be? The day was meant to be flawless. As Zack woke up that morning, anticipation bubbled within him. It had been years since he'd seen his son, Mark. Today was Mark's wedding day, and the invitation had been extended to his father. Standing at the airport, Zack prepared to board a plane headed for New York City. It had been since his son's college departure that they last met, but now, Zack was about to partake in one of the happiest days of his life alongside his son. The flight to New York proceeded without a hitch, and Zack maintained a constant smile throughout the journey. Mark had always been the source of his pride and joy, and the prospect of spending this significant day with him filled Zack with excitement. While he hadn't yet met Mark's soon-to-be wife, he had heard favorable remarks about her. The anticipation to finally meet the woman who had captured his son's heart was palpable. Upon landing, Zack promptly arranged for a taxi to collect him. Upon reaching the church, Zack was pleasantly taken aback. It was a flurry of activity, with individuals bustling about, arranging flowers and setting up sound equipment. Everything seemed to be falling into place splendidly for his son's momentous day. Zack's gaze canvassed every nook, seeking his son. Suddenly, a deep voice sounded behind him. Dad! Mark's voice rang out. Turning around, Zack's heart swelled with joy at the sight of his son. In a tight embrace, Zack conveyed his immense pride to his son. Their bond had always been strong, yet the absence of the past few years had left Zack yearning for these moments. Life's whirlwind had kept them apart, and the absence had felt far too prolonged. Now where's the lucky lady? Zack beamed as he released his son. Not a glimpse of the woman had crossed his path, not even a photograph. Little did he know, his day was on the verge of an unexpected twist. Wait right here, I'll bring her over. Mark beamed, eager to introduce his father to the love of his life. With a confident stride, Mark walked away, leaving Zack standing in the center of the church, brimming with anticipation. A sliver of nervousness tinged Zack's anticipation as he prepared to meet the woman he'd heard so much about. Yet he couldn't quite grasp why he felt this way. Little did he know mere minutes separated him from the heart-wrenching truth. Once more his gaze had wandered, fixating on the church walls ahead. Abruptly, the sharp clacking of heels against the hard floor caught his attention. Methodically, the steps advanced nearer to Zack. Over the ambient noise, voices emerged from behind him, a blend of Mark's and a woman's. At last, the moment had arrived for him to meet the woman who held his son's affections. Unbeknownst to him, this long-awaited meeting marked the precipice of a dreadful turn in his day. Residing in Otsego, Minnesota, Zach Morgan, at 58 years old, had savored a life filled with contentment. In his youth, he embraced marital bliss with Natasha, the woman who embodied his dreams. Their union brought forth their sole offspring, a son named Mark. The arrival of Mark heralded a profound shift for Zack. Suddenly everything fell into place, infusing Zack's life with a newfound sense of purpose. Mark embodied all of Zack's aspirations and desires, granting his existence a profound significance. As a unit, Zack and Natasha dedicated themselves to nurturing Mark to the best of their capabilities. Yet during Mark's formative years, tensions and disparities surfaced within Zack and Natasha's relationship. Despite their struggles, they persevered, driven by their commitment to their son. However, when Mark reached the tender age of 16, the dynamics drastically shifted. The relationship between Zack and Natasha had finally reached an irreparable breaking point. The day Zack and Natasha disclosed their decision to divorce marked the most challenging moment in Mark's life. Lingering struggles had taken their toll, leaving his parents with no resolve to salvage their relationship. Mark found himself engulfed in a state of disbelief. The prospect of alternating between two different homes every other week seemed unimaginable. From that juncture onward, his life underwent a profound transformation. Throughout the divorce, 
Zack did everything in his power to remain close to his only child. Mark lived with his mother most of the time, but he still had a strong relationship with his father. It took some time, but he learned to live with the change. Eventually, Mark finished high school and began planning for college. Zack was proud of his son, but he had no idea what tragedy awaited him. In the years after the divorce, Zack tried his hardest to move on. Mark left Minnesota and moved to New York for his studies, and suddenly, Zack felt like he was all alone. He kept in contact with his son often enough, but that didn't stop the feeling of loneliness that sat like a heavy burden on his shoulders. He needed love, just like anybody else. Zack decided to put himself out there. He went on a few blind dates and tried a couple of dating apps, but he never found a woman he felt a true connection with, until one summer evening. Zack had been invited to a close friend's dinner party, and although he didn't feel like going, he decided to do so anyway. That was when he met her. The second he saw her beautiful, full head of dark hair, his heart skipped a beat. When she turned around to reveal her big brown eyes and full red lips, Zack's breath caught in his throat. She was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen, and he just had to speak to her. He approached her, expecting a pleasant conversation, but he had no idea what would come of this decision. That night, Zack fell in love with the beautiful brunette, and he couldn't wait to see her again. They went on a few dates, and before Zack knew it, he was head over heels in love with her. Although she was much younger than Zack, she made him feel alive again. He felt young in her presence, and he wanted to be with her all the time. He wanted to be in a stable relationship with the woman who had stolen his heart. The first few months of their relationship ran smoothly. Although she was a lot younger than Zack, he admired her intelligence and the way she viewed the world. He couldn't see a single flaw in her, but as the months passed, he could feel a shift in their relationship. Suddenly, she had grown distant, and he couldn't understand why. But one day, it all ended. That day, Zack tried to call the woman he had fallen in love with, but she didn't answer the phone. He figured she was busy and would call him back later, but sadly, she never did. She never answered his calls again, and when he tried to visit her apartment, she refused to open the door for him. Just like that, their brief love affair had ended, and Zack had no idea why. Zack never mentioned this relationship to his son. He didn't want to make Mark feel uncomfortable. In the weeks that followed, Zack found himself dealing with a broken heart once again. All he wanted were some answers. She had ghosted him, and he had no idea why. He wondered if he would ever see her again. But just a few years later, he discovered something devastating. When Mark called his dad and announced the big news, Zack was over the moon. Dad, I asked her to marry me and she said yes, Mark said over the phone, his voice raised in excitement. Over the past two years, Zack had heard a lot about Mark's new girlfriend, but he had never met her, nor had he seen a single photo. But that didn't stop him from feeling extremely proud of his son. He congratulated Mark, again and again, offering to help in whatever way he could. He thought back to the day he proposed to Mark's mother and how excited he was to become a husband. The months flew by, and before he knew it, he had received an invitation to attend Mark's wedding in New York City. But he never could have guessed how that day would end. Before Zack knew it, it was the week of his son's wedding. Although he was sad that he wouldn't have a plus one for the wedding, he was still excited and happy for his son. He booked a flight out to New York, and when the day finally arrived, he got on his plane and flew out to his son's wedding, unaware of who he would run into. Zack arrived at the church hours before the wedding would begin. People were running around, setting up decor and testing the sound system. When he spotted his son, he embraced him in a long hug. Now where is the lucky lady? Zack grinned as he pulled away from his son. He hadn't seen so much as a single photo of the woman, but his day was about to take a sudden turn. Wait here, I'll get her, Mark grinned, proud to introduce his father to the woman he loved. Mark walked off while Zack stood in the middle of the church, waiting in anticipation. Part of him was nervous to meet the woman he'd heard so much about, but he didn't quite understand why. But he was minutes away from learning the devastating truth. His eyes had drifted once again. 
He was back to staring at the church walls before him when he heard the harsh clicking of heels on the wooden floor. Slowly but surely, the steps grew closer to Zack. He could hear the voices behind him. It was Mark and a woman. He was finally about to meet the young lady his son loved. But little did he know that his day was about to take a terrible turn. Zack had a smile on his face. He couldn't be prouder of his son, and he couldn't wait to meet the woman who would soon become his daughter-in-law. It was the perfect day for a wedding. What could go wrong? Dad, this is Jenna, the love of my life, his son said from behind him. But when Zack turned around and saw the woman's face, his stomach dropped. He recognized her the instant he saw her face. How could this have happened? He took in her shocked expression. Her lips were painted red like the night he'd first met her at that dinner party. Her dark hair was curled, and her large eyes were wide with confusion. She recognized him too. It was the same woman he had fallen in love with all those years ago. Jenna, he repeated her name. Mark could instantly see that something was wrong. The young lady took a step back in surprise and ran off. She left Mark confused while Zack stood before him dumbfounded. Dad, what's going on? Do you know her? His son asked in confusion. Zack's eyes were sorrowful as he faced his son and nodded sadly. Yes, I know her, he confirmed. He had to tell his son the truth. Mark was devastated to hear that his bride-to-be had dated his father. What? What do I do about this? Where do I go from here? He asked with his hands in his hair. He felt betrayed, but he knew that this had happened years before he met Jenna. Zack tried to comfort his son, but he was devastated too. He couldn't believe that she was there about to marry his son. He had to fix this. Zack sat his son down and spoke to him in a gentle voice, despite the terrible burning feeling in his chest. He was devastated, but he had to help his son. You love her, don't you? He said with compassion in his eyes. The last thing he wanted was to be the reason why his son was upset. Mark nodded. Then marry her, be with her. She is a wonderful young woman and you deserve someone like her, Zack said. But wouldn't that be weird for you? Mark asked with tears behind his eyes. He felt extremely uncomfortable. Well, it's a good thing that we only see each other once every few years. She is the woman you love. Don't let me get in between that, Zack said. Mark thought about it for a moment. You're right, he said. I'm going to marry the woman I love, he said, and arose from his seat. Zack smiled, proud of his son. He deserved a woman like Jenna, and she deserved a man like Mark. If this story touched you as much as it did us, you should watch this video. Once the bride sees who her father-in-law is, she immediately stops the wedding. Click here to get the full story.